Apple, by accident, or maybe on purpose, have just shown us a leak from Siri for an Apple event April 20. So on April 20th, will we see the new iMac, M1X, iPad Pro, and the AirTags? Well, let's investigate. Hi there, it's Matt here. So that's right, a new Apple event is coming. Let me show you. Hey Siri, when is the next Apple event? The special event is on Tuesday, April 20th at Apple Park in Cupertino, California. You can get all the details on apple.com. Yay, hooray, it's about time. I'm so excited for Apple going to show us. Okay, let's calm down for two seconds here. So the last Apple event happened November 2020 and that's when we saw those new Macs with the M1 Apple Silicon chips put inside them. We have been waiting for an event to happen in 2021 and we've kind of expected it to happen in March or April time and obviously more recently April because we're in April right now. In fact, for example, John Prosser has said that an Apple event is going to happen in April time. Just check out this leak that he's put here. However, I will mention though, back in March time, he did say that it was going to happen in March. But the great thing is we have a leak and that leak is from Apple themselves. Like I just shown you just there, if you ask your iPhone right now and ask Siri, basically, when is going to be the next Apple event, it will tell you when it's going to be. However, I must just say this, at the time of this video, it does say that on my iPhone. However, when this video goes up, Apple may have taken it back down. I don't know. But all I know is right now, it does say that. But specifically, what Siri says is the event is going to happen on April 20th this year, and it's going to happen at Apple's HQ. So we are so excited for this event. So like Siri says, this event is happening in April time, what's quite unusual from Apple. In past years, most events and most kind of Apple releases whenever they do them at this time of year always happen around March time. For example, last year we got a video from Craig where he showed us the new iPad Pro and it also showed us that new uh, Magic Keyboard accessory and that was launched in March time. But then having said that, we did get the iPhone SE, the second generation, that did come out in April time and that had no video or no event behind it. It just got launched on Apple's website. However, we believe we'll be getting an event very similar to what we saw last year in 2020, where Apple did virtual events and it was all pre-recorded. But you're probably wondering, what are they going to release? Well, we believe Apple are going to release a whole load of products before the end of summer 2021. And they've been working on loads of products in that time. And in fact, we've had lots of leaks about them. Those products are the iPad Pro, the iPad Pro Mini or the iPad Mini, also some AirTags, also the AirPods 3 or the AirPods Pro 2 as well, also a brand new Apple TV because of the Apple Arcade push right now, and then finally we also believe that we're going to see the new iMacs with the M1X chipset inside them. One thing though that we know will not be released and that will be this, an iPhone SE that we have here because we're giving it away on a giveaway on this channel. That's right folks, you can get your hands possibly on this iPhone SE that I'm doing in my latest international giveaway. And all I'd like to know from you guys is put down in the comments, what Apple product are you most excited for in 2021? And when we get over 170,000 subscribers, I'm going to be announcing who the winner is of the 64 gigabyte iPhone SE in space gray. But make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell because when we hit over 170,000 subscribers, you'll want to find out if you're going to be the lucky winner of this iPhone SE. So then, what are we actually really expecting to see in April time at this Apple event? Well, we know for a fact that there has been leaks, for example, of the new iPad Pros and also the new iPad Mini. In fact, these leaks just came out very, very recently. And you can see here pictures of the design of the iPad Pro and also of the iPad Mini, but the design hasn't changed that much. But we believe the A14X chipset is going to go inside the iPad Pro and the A14 normal chipset is going to go inside the iPad Mini. 
We've also had leaks, for example, of air tags coming up in software. And we've also had leaks just like this one here of the new AirPods 3. And there's also the possibility we may also see some AirPods Pro 2, but we'll have to wait and see. However, if you want more information about these products, do check out my other videos on my channel to get the latest information about design leaks and how they're going to work and performance. And make sure at the same time as well to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell to get the latest details as we go forward in time about them. The other item that we may also see at this event, what I believe is a brand new Apple TV. And what I mean by this, probably the actual design of the Apple TV will stay, but we'll probably get a new chipset inside it. Now, the reason why we believe we'll be getting a new Apple TV is because of that big Apple Arcade push we have seen recently on Apple's website. And we believe that Apple are trying to get their foot into kind of some of the gaming industry. Not as hardcore as, say, as an Xbox or Nintendo or, for example, PlayStation, but they're just trying to get their foot in there a little bit more and but providing you a box that can play the really, really hardcore games that you get on Apple Arcade right now. The other big question a lot of you are wondering is are we going to see those new iMacs in the April event on Apple's journey continuing along switching from Intel to Apple Silicon? And personally, I believe the answer is no. Now, the reason why I say this is generally recently in the last few years, when Apple have done updates to their iMac line, they normally do this either kind of around the time of WWDC, what will be in June this year, and then also at the same time as well, they also kind of do the updates kind of the end of summertime, so kind of mid to end August. And the only other time when they do updates to those iMacs is around the end of the year to October, November time. But we believe if Apple want to really pull out their Apple Silicon journey, we believe the new iMacs with the M1X chipset is gonna probably be happening in the summertime, possibly at WWDC or at August time, like I mentioned before. But I don't believe we're gonna see them at the April event right now. So the other question is, is what type of format are we going to see at this Apple event in April time? Now, I believe that depends on how many of those Apple products I just mentioned are gonna actually be revealed at the Apple event. If, for example, we just see the new iPad Pro and the iPad Mini and possibly the AirTags, we might see something very, very similar to what we saw last year at the event with Craig, where he just showed off the new iPad with the new LiDAR sensor and also the new Magic Keyboard and also the ability with the new upgraded Apple Pencil as well. But if we see far more items, so for example, we see say about four or five of the items that I just mentioned in that list, then there'll probably be a full blown event where we will probably see Tim Cook and loads of other Apple employees talking about the Apple products. But like I say, if it's just the iPad minis, the iPad Pro and the AirTags, probably something very, very smaller, something to what we saw last year in March time. But in my opinion, I personally think we'll get an event very similar to March time last year. I think we'll see the new iPad Pro, the iPad mini, and possibly the AirTags as well. But I don't think we're gonna see the likes of, for example, the new AirPods or the new iMacs. But I could be completely wrong here. But I've just got this gut feeling based on past previous history of when Apple releases certain type of products and when they do it, they release them in a sort of a different kind of pattern over the years and you get to begin to understand that pattern. So that's why I believe those other products won't be coming at that time. But just again, those products that will be coming out before the end of the year and we believe they'll be coming out before the end of summer 2021, is the iPad Pro, the iPad Mini or the iPad Pro Mini, the new AirTags, also those AirPods 3 and the AirPods Pro 2, that new Apple TV, and of course the iMacs with the M1X chipset inside them. Well guys, like I mentioned before, if you want more information about those different products, make sure to check out my other videos on my channel and make sure at the same time as well to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to find the latest details about all those Apple products. At the same time as well, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, 
please do press the like button. And again, if you want the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons, I'll say it again, hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Until next time guys, I'll see you really soon. Bye.